What if I told you that even the greatest athletes in the world experience fear and anxiety just like you? Behind every game-winning shot, every record-breaking performance, there's a battle with the mind. As a mental performance coach to professional athletes, I've seen firsthand that even those in the top 1% of their sport are not immune to the fear that can come from high pressure moments. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a complete walkthrough of a powerful technique that sports psychologists use with pro athletes to get them to master their nerves and destroy their fears for good. And the good news is you can apply this to your own game so that you unlock your true potential. So let's get started. So to explain this technique, let's imagine we have an athlete called Chris. Chris is a talented golfer with a great swing and Lots of potential. But there's one thing holding him back, pre-performance anxiety. Every time Chris steps up to the tee in a competition, he's gripped by an overwhelming fear of slicing his first drive. This fear consumes him, making his hands tremble and his mind race with negative thoughts. And although we're talking about Chris in this case, everything we're gonna run through is adaptable and applicable to any sport. Whether it's fears of taking penalty kicks in football, worrying that you'll double fault when serving in tennis, or getting bowled out on the first ball you face in cricket. These situations are deep down all the same. You fear screwing up, not being able to execute your skills to the high standards that you have for yourself, and then you're also scared about what other people are gonna think about you when you fail. But going back to Chris, he can't help but imagine the ball slicing off to the right when he lines up his first drive, landing him in deep trouble from the very start. This fear isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a roadblock that prevents him from playing his best game. On some occasions, it stops Chris from even opening his garage door to load his club bag into his car. And then on other occasions, he refuses to leave his car as he's too scared to leave the safety of the car park and enter the clubhouse. And the more he worries, the greater the likelihood he'll slice his first drive. Once he finally drags himself to the first he's plagued by overthinking. Because of this, every aspect of his swing becomes rigid due to the accompanying muscle tension and tightness in his chest. And sure enough, his first shot is dreadful, setting him up for another round from hell where the entire time he just wants to bury himself in a bunker and never have to set foot on a golf course ever again. So what can Chris do to overcome this and destroy his fears for good? Well, he needs to go through the process of systematic desensitization. Also known as graduated exposure therapy, systematic desensitization was originally developed to help people overcome various phobias and fears. Whether people have a fear of certain animals, foods, or random objects, this process helps people by gradually exposing them to the source of their fear in a controlled and progressive manner. And in more recent times, it's been used as a fantastic tool to help elite athletes in all sports to overcome their fears of performing that have built up after experiencing maybe a humiliating defeat or an embarrassing moment on the pitch court or track. The process typically involves three main steps that when combined can completely eliminate fear and replace it with complete calm and composure. So let's run through these steps for Chris so that you can see how it works and give you a framework that you can then go and apply to your own sporting fears. So the first step is to create an anxiety hierarchy. And what this means is that the athlete will typically sit down with a sports psychologist or a mental performance coach and just firstly explore their fear in as much detail as possible. Because someone's performance anxiety is usually multifaceted, meaning that there's many individual components that come together to create the feelings of nervousness and fear. And so from this exploration, the result is to identify and rank specific situations that trigger fear and anxiety. So for Chris, his fear is generally slicing his drive in competitive situations. But after brainstorming that at a deeper level, Chris will be able to list out various situations that are branches of that fear. And these could include practicing his drive alone at the range, driving his car to a competition, stepping up to the tee in a major tournament with a large audience, pulling his driver out of his golf bag, practicing his drive with a few friends watching, and driving in front of his coach. After listing each of these scenarios, Chris will then be asked by his psychologist to give each one a rating from one to 10 on how anxiety inducing he feels they are. And these ratings are then used to rank these scenarios in order based on the level of anxiety that each one causes Chris to feel from the least stressful to the most intense. So his final anxiety hierarchy will look like this. By developing this hierarchy, Chris and his psychologist establish a roadmap for the desensitization process. It allows them to tackle his fears in a systematic and controlled manner, starting with the situations that cause the least anxiety and gradually working up to the most challenging ones. With the anxiety hierarchy established, the next step in systematic desensitization is learning relaxation techniques. These techniques are crucial because they will help Chris manage his anxiety and stay calm as he confronts his fears. Relaxation techniques can vary massively, but they generally include practices like deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, grounding self-talk and visualization. So let's explore how Chris can use each of these methods so that you can then think about how you might wanna use them too. So first up, deep breathing. This simple but powerful technique involves taking slow deep breaths to calm the nervous system. So Chris can start by inhaling deeply through his nose, holding that breath for a few seconds, and then exhaling slowly through his mouth. This helps reduce the physical tension and anxiety that he feels right the way throughout his body when lining up to the T. Next up, progressive muscle relaxation. So this technique involves tensing and then slowly relaxing different muscle groups with 
within the body. Chris will start from his feet and then work his way up to his head, tensing each muscle group for a few seconds before releasing. This helps to release physical tension and just promote overall relaxation. Next up, grounding self-talk. So this involves Chris talking himself through his anxiety with positive affirmations and calming phrases. He might say things like, I am in control. I've nailed thousands of these before, or I'm ready for this. These affirmations help shift his focus away from fear and towards confidence and control. Finally, visualization. Chris can imagine himself in a calm and confident state, successfully hitting his drive. He visualizes every detail, the feel of the club in his hands, the sound of the ball being struck perfectly, and the sight of the ball soaring down the fairway. This mental rehearsal will help build his confidence and in turn reduce anxiety. By practicing these relaxation techniques regularly, Chris trains his body and mind to stay calm and focused. And with his relaxation techniques in place, Chris is now ready for the final phase gradual exposure. This step involves systematically facing the situations in his anxiety hierarchy, starting with the least anxiety provoking and then working his way up. The goal is to help Chris become desensitized to his fears and build confidence at each level. So the first situation on Chris's hierarchy is driving his car to a competition. This is a routine activity but can still trigger anxiety as it's associated with the upcoming performance. So what Chris will do is some practice runs of getting in his car each day to pretend that he's driving to a competition. This should cause some anxiety to be felt and when it occurs, Chris should practice his deep breathing and grounding self-talk to stay calm. Alternatively, this step, along with all others to a certain extent, can be run through with his psychologist in a role-playing setting or just visualizing and imagining each of the situations on Chris's anxiety hierarchy. And more recently, elite athletes are also turning to virtual reality headsets to make running through these high-pressure situations much more realistic. But only once Chris has mastered this step and feels completely calm of getting into his car, putting his seatbelt on and starting up the engine and then driving to the the golf course should he then move on to the next point on his anxiety hierarchy and it may take a few weeks but over time chris will tick off each of these situations where he gets to a point where he can go through them without any feeling of anxiety so for each one whether it's just holding his driver for the first time that day or practicing his drives in front of a few friends Chris just focuses on using his relaxation techniques until holding his driver or taking those shots in front of his friends produces no more feelings of nerves, worry, or anxiety. And what this step is built upon is the idea of reciprocal inhibition. And what this basically means is that it's virtually impossible for someone to feel relaxed and anxious at the same time, given they're polar opposite to one another. Finally, Chris reaches the top of his anxiety hierarchy, stepping up to the tee in a major competition with a large audience. This is the ultimate test, but Chris is ready. He relies on the relaxation techniques that he's practice so diligently for every single other situation on his anxiety hierarchy. And at this point, he will be a master in using grounding self-talk, breathing deeply and visualizing success. All the practice reps of using these skills in other less anxiety inducing situations would have built up his mental strength to control his stress response. So despite the high pressure, he remains calm and confident, executing his drive with precision and power. Through gradual exposure, Chris has transformed his fear into confidence. By systematically facing the anxiety provoking situations and and using his relaxation techniques, he has desensitized himself to the fear of slicing his drive. And now he can step up to the tee with the assurance that he can handle any situation, no matter how intense. So as a reminder, systematic desensitization can be adapted to any sport and any fear. Whether you're an athlete struggling with performance anxiety, a fear of injury, or other sport-related phobia, this technique can help you gain control and perform at your best again. But it takes patience, time, and effort. And that's because it's a form of mental training, which many elite athletes know is much more difficult to perform than their physical training. No one builds an elite mentality in a click of a finger, but building one is more simple than you think. You just have to follow a few key steps, which you can learn for yourself by watching this video next.